Stadium. Ali Salumaria brings us the lineup. Bree, New England first. Yeah, first, this powerful back row is going to be key to success. Mitch Jacobson at six, who we highlighted in the head-to-head, -head, and Vian Conradi at eight. They will lead with experience and by example with their powerful hits and carries. Now for the backs, John Poland and Jason Potras have been one of the best 9-10 duos in the league. Still no Mitch Wilson, who is still sidelined with a hamstring injury. So Daniela Filimoni continues to fill in his absence at 14. And you see, of course, Scott Matthews, second-year head coach. He selects a combo of five forwards and three backs on his bench. Holding Younger in the 21 jersey scored a highlight reel try last time these two faced off. He's going to be eager to do so again today. For the visitors, a short turnaround having just played the Eliminator on Sunday and not much time to practice this week. So DC goes with an unchanged lineup from the team that upset the defending champions in New York. To pull off another upset today, they'll need a big shift from this forward pack. In the back line, the halfback pairing of Tusitala and last week's player of the match, Diaz Bonija, will be pulling the strings, trying to dictate the pace of the game here in Quincy and keep an eye on Olympian pack right here. This group of forwards from DC, if they can slow the game down, this is going to be a big day for them. Here's the line on from New England. They get it in. Into the hands there of Jacobson. He's in the middle there. Now they get it free. Here's Andrew Quatrin with it. 16 caps with his native country of Canada. Happy Canada Day. Here's a run and right in goes Milan. Ball underneath his left arm. And LaRue Milan picks up right where he left off two weeks ago in the try zone. New England up 5 0. Such emphasis. I was at their captain's run yesterday and I saw this exact play happen. They wanted to make sure they got everything right. And it's just a simple go forward from the forwards. And then just that ball to Milan, who does exactly what does best. New York and DC Keep met. It. At one point, New York led that match by 10 points. Good inside ball. Milan breaks a couple tackles. Offload. This one's going to go in. A five-pointer. It's down. Johnston puts it away. And the first pass from nine. Yeah, the first pass from nine has gone forward from the hands. I'll it's give you the forward. mark. It's okay, uh, the yeah, right by the 10 meter and the 15 meter line. 10 meter and 15 yards out. No try, four pass. The scrum there, ball goes over the possession to New England. And he's positioning in that specific circumstance was really, really a key component for DC's defense. New England knocking on the door here. He's legal, he's found it. Ball in the back. Inside of the five meter, the push continues. Coming in to help out Ben Lesage. Quatrin's in the back there, Quatrin. And he gets it down. They power it in. And New England gets that five. They just had taken off the board a couple of minutes ago. Back, now it's a 12-0 match. Now they go outside McDonald. Trying a little goose step there. He's wrapped up. Good tackle there. Junior Sal coming over to make it. Now Conradi back into the hands of Poland. and. James will blow the play yeah. Dean company. Needed to find a 10. 30-year-old Jason Patros has come over and been dynamite. Oh, anyway. And on cue, he sticks that one. And it's 15-0 New England here. Steps into this one. Drives it right between the post. And at the halftime break, guys, it's 18-0 New England. Diaz Benia, his counterpart. Two fly halves wearing 10. To Sitala. Looks right, then comes left. This Carl, good ball. Heavy shot back behind the players. A break. Danny to Sitala. Plays it outside. Junior Sow. Sow trying to go back to Two Sitala. Bailey picks it up. To the 22. Oh, glory. Trying to put something together here and get on the board. But New England comes away with it. And McDonald. Boots it down the pitch. Pitching into the corner with his foot. Poland puts it in. Manage here for New England. Here come the Free Jacks. Still under the advantage. Here's McDonald. Nice dummy. McDonald cuts inside. Reese McDonald trying to play the ball into the middle of the pitch. And they're going to bring it back for the advantage, nevertheless. Ball in his hand. Sends it skyward again. Balakana there, couldn't get it. Diaz Bonilla comes away with it. Now Old Glory. See if they can make that push we just talked about. Nothing there. Good. Good job by New England defensively. Here comes Poland. Nifty little ball. Lesage kicks one through. Chase for it here. Can they get to it? Yes! 
What a play from the Free Jacks! Filimone puts it down in the try zone, and New England extends the lead. It's 23 0. CDC not able to answer. Kurt Baker had just had a really nice kick down in the other half, but not able to hold on to it. And the presence of mind for the Free Jacks massage with that beautiful grubber and just everyone flooding in. You can see what it means with these guys taking another look at that side. Massage, beautiful kick. Both Johnson and Filimone working together to it down. He'll do it once again. And it's turned over. Poland. Balakana gave it off. Here comes New England. Back to Paula Balakana. Can he outrun him? Toward the try zone. Flips it on to McDonald. And Reese McDonald. Down. Well, reset here. The highlight reel play comes back. Here's a look at it, guys. Great call. And it's turned over. Pull in. Balakana gave it off. Here comes New England. Back to Paula Balakana. Can he outrun him? Toward the try zone. Flips it on to McDonald. And Reese McDonald. Looks like the try is actually going to get called yeah, off here. So we'll just wait a moment. We bring it back to the referee here. And now we've got an old glory scrum. There was a knock called earlier by referee James. So they'll reset here. The highlight reel play comes back. Here's a look at it, guys. Great call. Ooh, it was that fumble back and forth. It was that fumble back and forth, and that's what they saw. Yep. So we're calling that back. And so DC lives to fight another day. They do. It's 25 0. They get the scrum. They're a little bit sooner. They're just being so simple on what they're doing. They're just one-off runners going forward, finding seams in the New England defense, just getting some go-forward momentum. It's what they've needed all game long. Crumbles to the ground, laid to the back. Juicy Tala into the hands there of Big Palamo. He's wrestled down. Juicy Tala gets in there to the base of it. Puts it into the hands there of Giannis. Heavy shot delivered by both ball carrier and defender. That was Newcomer with the carry. Giannis Bonilla inside ball there to the five. Juicy Tala. Get around a teammate there. Longy Longy inside of the five meter to the four. Juicy Tala. Kick over the top, Diaz Bonilla into the hands of Palamo, and he gets it down. On the outside, but really this is just basic stuff, and then a little bit of flair at the very end from Diaz Bonilla, and I love that option. You got nothing to lose, just throw the kitchen sink at him at this point, a couple minutes left in the game, put that kick in. Reese McDonald almost gets it. on there for Martinez, ball spills out. McDonald trying to gather it, unable to do so. And that is the match. The New England Free Jacks have won the Eastern Conference Championship. They defeat Old Glory DC 25 to seven. They advance to next Saturday's MLR Championship match in Chicago.